Hey guys, this is Mike the Scrapper. A lot of you are asking me what goes on at a scrapyard. So today I'm going to show you. Got a little load here of some aluminum, some power supplies, some low grade, some cast aluminum, heat sinks, some wiring, transformers, motors, and some brass, and also some batteries. So let's see what goes on at a scrapyard. Before I go to the scrapyard, I like to bring these guys something to drink. It's a little warm today, but definitely they'll drink this Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Hey guys, now I'm going to get paid for my scrap. Pretty cool machine here. Just press the button. Scan your part on. Keep your receipt. That's it. You get paid cash. Morning, scrappers. A lot of you have questions about catalytic converters and I'm here with Mike the Scrapper to tell you a couple of things. When you're dealing with cats, you're dealing with a few different types, different makes, models. Each scrapyard is going to buy them depending on the year, make and model and how much material is inside. The material inside is called honeycomb. When you have the honeycomb, it looks like honeycomb, that's why they call it that. Now when you look at cats, the, the scrapyard is going to want to know how full they are. This one. You can see there's some stuff coming out. It's an old cat, and because of it, you're not going to get paid full value. Now, in, inside of the catalytic converters in the honeycomb, there's platinum, palladium, sometimes rhodium. And when you see them, it all depends on what year, make, and model has those metals inside. And that's how the scrapyards will pay you. Now, a lot of the cats that you're going to see nowadays are very cheap. They're aftermarket cats, $5. But once in a while, when you come across a foreign cat, such as a BMW or Mercedes or a Porsche, it might, it might not be often, but when you do, they could be worth anywhere up to $150 to $250 for the right year make and model. Now, when you see a cat like this, this whole thing is a cat, but this area right here is the only part where the honeycomb is. What you want to do when you test them is take a dip stick 
or a long piece of scrap, maybe a skinny piece of wire like a THHN, and you stick it down there and where it sticks, that's how far down you know where the, the honeycomb will start. So when you're scrapping cats, ask questions, ask Mike the scrapper or use the iScrap app to be able to ask local scrap yards more questions. If you have any other, we'll answer them, comment down below and we'll take care of it. Scrap soon. All right guys, today we're gonna find out what type of metal this is. This looks like steel, but it looks kind of weird. So today we're gonna test it with a gun. Sean. Okay, go ahead. Doesn't stick to a magnet, so you're not sure what it is. So this is called a Niton gun. When you shoot it, it'll come right up and say exactly what materials are inside. This has copper, nickel, manganese, iron. This is called brass. You guys see it every day. Sometimes scrapyards need a little help too. Scrap you later. Peace.